I'm back. I made it back. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. It's been really busy over here. Uh, just mostly life work, you know. But I wanted to get back into this because I do miss my videos and I do miss um, just reading your comments and being up here. So I just thought this would be a good chance to do an update, to tell you some of the things I've been making, uh, things that I've been working on, and also things that I've been doing. Uh, AKA, I went to Rhinebeck and I want to tell you a little bit about that. Think first things first, the biggest thing that happened for me this summer is that my little sister got married. Um, I was pretty busy because I crocheted her a blanket and I've been working on it for months and months. So I finally finished it and it was her wedding gift. And I also made my bridesmaid dress, actually. Uh, I went a little crazy and decided to make up my own bridesmaid dress and she's actually getting married again um, she kind of divided her wedding in two so that people from different places could go whatever the point is she's doing another wedding with the same the same husband of course and I'm gonna make another dress so the one I made for the first smaller wedding it was a, a milksmaid dress uh, I, I just was really really been seeing a lot of milkmaid style dresses so i wanted to make my own and i just bought a pattern on etsy and i made it it was really fun i really like how i ended up now to talk about what you came here for the title uh rhinebeck 2022 so those of you who don't know rhinebeck is the name of a town up in new york uh new york state so a couple hours away from new york city if you spend time on instagram at all you spend time on any um social media that touches knitting yarn wool crochet any of that you are going to hear about Rhinebeck so when I started hearing about it you know a while ago a few years ago living in New York and seeing people posting about it and um, so last year I went with a friend and this year it was a little bit, bit of a bigger operation we booked a um, Airbnb in Woodstock and we spent there the weekend basically um, it was really nice to be upstate and just like in the woods in the middle of autumn and the fall and it was just so beautiful so basically Rhinebeck is shorthand or short ver version of Rhinebeck Ship and Wool Festival uh, which as the name says it's about ship and wool um, so literally uh, sheep people go there to buy auction and sell she sheep but the other really big part of it of course is wool which, as you know, makes yarn. <laughs> and not just sheep wool, but also alpaca and other types of wool, like angora and etc. Um, so yeah, basically it is just a huge festival. Uh, it's made, it's done at the fair, uh, fair's ground. So it's a lot, a lot of space to cover. And there's just booths and stands and like anything you can think of related to yarn. So yarn everywhere, lots of it. Um, but also, they also sell tools and other things related to wool, but not specifically to knitting, such as, of course, crochet, but also spinning and dyeing and um, just even felting. Uh, just anything you can think of that you can do with wool or yarn or sheep, um, you can find there. So it is pretty impressive. Uh, last year was my first year going. It was so overwhelming. I can't even begin to tell you how overwhelming this festival is. Uh, it, to begin with, like I said, it's really big. Uh, there are so many stands and booths that as much as you can think of. So just like so many things and so many decisions to make uh, and just so much of it that it's really hard to concentrate. But this second time around, as I knew what I was gonna find, I would have a better plan about what I wanted to get. Um, how much I wanted to get, how much I wanted to spend, what I wanted to see. So let me show you what I actually got. Um, I did a little bit of shopping. Like I said, I didn't go crazy or spend too much money because I have a lot of yarn. But anyway, here are my purchases. First thing I got was actually something I did not plan, but it just, I was really sold when I saw it. Uh, this is sock yarn and it's from KFI collection, which and it's from KFI Collection, which I I don't really hadn't heard about them until I got there, which is one of the cool things about going to a festival like this. You just learn about new yarn. This is, a, like I said, obviously sock yarn, but the cool thing is it has like an ombre effect. So I'm really excited to knit, knit socks. I guess each one of these is for one sock. So I am very excited, like I said, to, to knit socks with this. Maybe I'll even design something. I don't know. It will be... A really interesting effect so I had to get this one it had different colors but the green one just I don't know the colors really called me the next purchase I made was primrose yarn which last time I went to Rhinebeck I also got primrose yarn so I had to make 
a stop in this stall and I got I think I have a few more skeins of the same type of yarn in there and this is actually sport yarn and I guess this color is called Comet it's a beautiful kind of um, yellow harvest gold more like gold I think it's gold color um, and I got it specifically with a shawl in mind so it's kind of like the perfect amount of yarn just three four skeins I do like making shawls I'm kind of make getting into it I wasn't really a shawl person before so this is kind of me telling myself I can make more shawls I don't have to always knit socks or sweaters or whatever it is I can make shawls too and wear them so I'm really excited to start knitting this one the last purchase I made was very naked wools this skein that has 470 yards uh, of uh, I think it's fingering yes fingering yarn and I kind of was really drawn into this stall even though I was wearing this shirt like were really bright but all of the colors in there were very earthy very natural so um, this is called milk and honey so it's kind of like a beige color and all the other colors they had were like browns and beiges and that type of stuff maybe grays um, which I don't know it just really felt very cozy and something that I want to get into and if you can see the yarn I have back then is like the same color so I think I'm starting to see a theme the reason I got this skein is because I was thinking I'm thinking about making a sweater I think it's called the Owlery sweater or Owlery something uh, I, I also needed more hair but I just couldn't find more hair that I like the color or that it went with this so I'm gonna have to find that somewhere else and just pair it with this one but I'm very excited to have like a delicate, you know, very natural color type of sweater that I make with this. Yeah, like I said, Rhymebeck is huge, it's really exciting. Um, I, I know that a lot of meters do meetups and I know there's like tons of videos floating about both people that went and that did meetups and that did um, all the exciting things. But the other thing that I really like about this festival and that I mentioned at the beginning is the sheep. And you know, they're so sweet. You can actually go see them and pet them. Um, they're like I said, they're auctioning them. They're winning. There's also a competition, so they win prizes. Uh, I don't really know anything about sheep other than they're adorable. They're so soft. Um, so I think when you get a little bit overwhelmed with all of the shops in the festival, it's always nice to stop by the sheep, pet them a little bit, take some of your stress out, and then get some food because in the end, it's a festival, so you can find. All kinds of food, all kinds of fried food, uh, and of course apple cider donuts and apple cider, which are my favorite part of the food that they have there. I think if you're in the area, it makes sense to experience Rhinebeck as a knitter at least once in your life. Uh, but if you're not and you're feeling some FOMO, there are other ways to kind of experience that, you know, squishiness of touching yarn and by going to your local yarn store or with other things. And here it comes a little bit of the sponsored part of my video. And that is Knit Crate. So last month, I think two months ago, I got my first Knit Crate. So if you don't know, Knit Crate is a subscription service in which uh, you basically pay a certain amount every month and you get yarn that is selected by Knit Crate. I think you can also choose what type of yarn you want. So if you're more of a sock knitter or if you want other kinds of yarn and they always give you enough so that you can actually do something with it. Make, projects so that you don't have just like random skis that you don't know what to do with so why don't we open this month's knit crate and i'll show you what i got okay are you ready here it goes they always send you a little postcard that actually tells you what type of yarn you're getting and it gives you a qr code where you can find patterns that can be used with this yarn and this month's yarn oh my gosh i love this so much <laughs> so this is super wash merino as you can tell it's like a violet type of color it's um i think it's the colorway coquette which i love the name it's superwash merino 65 percent and 35 percent percent alpaca worsted weight each each one of these skins is 225 yards so you got about 450 yards to play with that sounds like a shawl to me or i don't know maybe like a sweater for a kid or for like a small one it is worsted weight so these are really full skeins um i don't know i feel like this is great for the wind like it's a really wintry color but not dark you know it's like a violet i don't know i really love this color and they also always give you a little gift um this month i got 
a little bit a little pouch of soak um scentless wa uh, wool wash so as you know this is for washing your wools it seems like this pouch is just just for you know trying it out but i actually have a bottle of this same wool wash so that's great uh i'll probably just put it in there that was my knit crate of the month if you're interested in getting your own knit crate subscription um and have a little bit of fomo from rhinebeck I totally recommend getting it and I actually have a code. So my code Knit Yorker gets you $40 off your first order, which is enough for a free crate for your first one. And you also get another $40 off after your third crate. So that's a lot of free yarn, y'all. Go grab your knit crate. And if you don't want to buy a subscription, if you just want to, if you just saw this yarn and thought I have to have that, I understand. I am really excited that I do have it. So you can use the same code Knit Yorker to get 20% off on your any non-subscription purchase. But I hope you all enjoyed my little comeback video. I promise I'm working on more stuff. See you on the next one very soon. Happy knitting!